Today, in our training on how to build a Lifter LMS website from scratch, we're going to be adding some course featured images right here, which is kind of like a book cover for our online course. And we're actually going to be doing something a little bit more fancy, where we are going to be added a video to the featured area, um, not just an image, just to make our course catalog even more visually appealing, interactive, and to better allow each course to pitch or offer what it's all about in uh, images, but also video format and communication. So I'm going to go into this beekeeping course right here. And in the back, let's take a look at it. Um, over on the right side here, we have a featured image area, but we're actually going to add a featured video over here in the general settings. So I'm just going to grab a, the featured video from my Vimeo Pro account, and I can set the privacy settings over here so this video is only playable on my online course website. I'm going to drop that in right there in the featured video box, and then I'm going to turn this option on to displayed feature vi featured video on course tile. I'm going to go ahead and hit update, and let's take a look and see what that looks like. Very cool. There is our featured video in the course, and if we head on over to the course, all courses page, you can see we have, we've got a nice uh, video playable tile here. And I'm also going to head on over to my dashboard, and you can see we don't have a featured image here and the video doesn't transfer, but I would like to put an image here uh, to make this look a little more uh, designed well. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to my course. Here's where we have our featured video, but I'm also going to set a featured image. And I'm actually going to load something up. I've already gotten the media library here, which is a 1400 by pixel wide by 1050 pixel tall image here for the course featured image. So I've got that there and I'm also just going to put that image inside of the course content and I'll explain why in just a moment. So I'm going to add that. I'm going to line it to the right medium size, insert it into the post. And remember we've got two versions of our course page here. So I'm also going to include that at the top of the course description right there as well. So I've got that added in and I'm going to go ahead and hit update. And now when I go to my courses page and I hit refresh on my student dashboard, you can see we now have a course featured image for our beekeeping course. And if we go to the course catalog, you can see the playable featured video here. And if we click into the details of the course, we've got our featured image over here. Now because we have a featured image and a featured video going at the same time, I actually don't want the course featured image to show up at the top of my individual course page. So there's a setting in Launchpad where I can turn that off. So I'm going to go over here to Appearance, Launchpad, and over here in Course, there is a course image option here, and I'm just going to check this box that hides the featured image on the course page. And the reason I'm hiding that is because uh, we are using featured video instead. So now when I hit refresh, I'm on the course page, I've got my uh, featured video here. If I go to the student dashboard, I've got my uh, image to represent the course there as well. Um, this is also a uh, by putting this image down here, I'm just creating a visual link in the in the user's mind that you know that image associates with this course. And if I go to my all courses page, you can see I'm utilizing featured video in my course tile. So now I've just got eight more of these to set up, and then I will have completed the featured image and featured video aspect of setting up my course catalog.